Oh. In the New Testament. They were talking, come on, bro, come on, bro. Walk through, man. It's all right. Oh, yeah, stay on the sidewalk, man. Walk through. Right? I hate you, but it's all right. Cool. I'm sorry. What were you saying? In the New Testament, they mentioned the word even seven times. Seven times. We just read it. Is that talking about the Gentiles? Read that again. Galatians 3. Huh? Heathen. The word heathen they mentioned in the New Testament seven times. Seven times the word heathen is mentioned in the New Testament. Twice in Galatians 2, I think. And um, no, once in Galatians 1, once in Galatians 2, and once in Galatians 3. Check this out, Galatians 3. Who are they talking about? I mean, who are they talking about? Thank you, God. Read it. Galatians 3 and 8. And the scripture foreseen that the Most High would justify the heathen who faith. Stop. Read that 12 and 1 Genesis. Genesis 12 and 1. Right. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred right. and from thy father's house right. unto a land that I will show thee. Right. And I will make of thee a great nation. Right. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. Praise the Lord. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. And in thee, in Abraham, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. All the families of the earth is everybody. They didn't say heathen, didn't say Gentile, didn't say Israel. Everybody. All the families of the earth, they're going to be blessed. Read that part again, all right? Genesis 12, verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. Right. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. In Abraham, in the faith of Abraham, the most Abraham believed the most high, and the most high counted him for righteousness. Everybody's going to be blessed in Abraham. All you got to do is believe. Of course, you got to do the work. You got to put the work in, because faith is dead without work. Faith is dead without work. are blessed with faithful Abraham. So in these days we be a blessed with faithful Abraham. Look, we got some meat of mine. We got we got some meat of mine. Meat of mine. So come on through. Sorry, right, walk through. We talk about their salvation, but they don't like us. <laughs> That should be a problem, man. Read it again, huh? Galatians 3 and 8. Scripture was seeing that the most high would justify the heathen through faith. The Lord Jacob justify the heathen through faith. That's what we just read in Genesis 12. He's going to justify the heathen through faith. All the families of the earth should be blessed in faith for Abraham. All the families of the earth are going to be blessed in faith for Abraham. Right? We know that. Preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, With these shall all nations be blessed. Praise the Lord. We're going to do something with the Old Testament. We're going to do something with the Old Testament on the Gentiles and the heathen. We're going to see what the Lord said about saving the so-called white man, the so-called John man, the so-called African, the so-called Indian, the so-called uh, African. I said that. Tell me what you got. I want, I want, I want you to give me the... Hold what you got. I want to leave this. I want to squeeze this quick set in here, right? Give me a... Uh, Give me Jeremiah 30, 30 and 10. Give me Jeremiah 16 and 14. Right. Jeremiah 30, verse 10. Check this out. 
Being four, fear thou, O oh my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O oh Israel. Right. For lo, I will save thee from far, afar, and thy seed from the land of your captivity. That's what the Lord said going to do for us. For the so-called Negroes, what's in the Puerto Ricans? In, in the world, in the earth. He's going to save you wherever you're at, anywhere you're at in the earth. The Lord going to play for you, man. You understand? But you got to play for him. He's just not going to save you because you're an Israelite. He's not going to save you if he saves you. He's going to save you because you're righteous. Because you're doing right works. Read it out. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet. Right. And none shall make him afraid. And none going to make us afraid. Lord said going to put us back in our own land and we're going to run things. And nobody's going to make us afraid. Not the so-called white man, not Esau, not, not the Moabites, not the Canaanites. Nobody's going to come and take us out. We know that. Jeremiah 30, 11. Right. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save me. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make an end, a full end of thee. Now here we go. We got these jokers that are so simple. They talk about no nation can get salvation. And they hear this part. They say, no nation ain't going to make a fool in the whole nation. He said, going to clean them up. Well, how they going to serve us in the land if there's no more? How they going to serve us? How they going to be our slaves if they all been ended? If they all taken out? He going to make a full end of any power, any juice they got in the earth. They all going to be a humble up under Israel. So you can understand a full length of them running their own program. Everybody gonna follow the rules from on high. Read it out. All these devils in the earth, they're gonna humble up. Every devil that they have in the earth, they're gonna humble up. They're gonna be kicked out of the darkness and they're gonna wail with gnashing their teeth. They're gonna wail and gnash their teeth, man. Sword punishment for you jokers that go against the Lord. Je Jeremiah 30, 11. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure. The Lord said, going to correct us in measure, man. You're not going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with the folly that you jokers play in the earth. The Lord said, going to deal with all other nations. He's going to deal with us too. Read it. It will not leave thee. And will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Right. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. Check this out. Just like America, the the wound, the, the bruise is in, the wound is incurable. Read that again. <laughs> Jeremiah 30, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable. Thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. And thy wound is grievous. That's the same thing going on in the middle.